this, I'm back once again and it's time for another quick video review. This one is going to look at Google Now, which is Google's new search kind of voice orientation of, it's basically Google Siri, <laughs> to put it in a straight way. So what I'm going to show in this video is I'm going to show you obviously how it should work um, and how it actually works. So <laughs> I'll explain to you as we go along. So first things first, I'm going to ask you some really quick questions. How tall is Big Ben? 316 feet 96 meters. And there we go, hopefully you heard there, it's got that, you know, nice kind of Americanized kind of voice. Cool so far we're thinking, yeah, well, that's not too bad. How tall is the Empire State Building? 1,454 feet 443 meters. Fantastic. Once again, it's got it perfect. Let's get one more. What's the weather like in New York? It's 28 degrees and clear in New York. Here's the forecast for the next few days. I wish it were like that in England. Now let's see where, where I am. What's the weather like? It's 13 degrees and clear in Keefley, UK. Here's the forecast for the next few days. And there we go. So as you heard there, it kind of even almost pronounced my actual town right as well, which is kind of surprising. Um, and that's it. Obviously, this is, you know, Google Now. You know, it's basically Google's version of Siri. Um, obviously everyone's going to compare it to Siri, blah, blah, blah. And that's effectively what they're looking to do with it. Um, it's fast, you know, it is very fast at what it does. Um, so I mean, on here, if you don't want that on there, a quick tip for you. I don't think I've meant to see many people do this. Swipe it away and it goes away. So much like your multitasking, you know, where you can close stuff down, you could do that in there as well. So if you've got anything that's at the top, any kind of search, you swipe it away and it just disappears. I think that's a cool implementation. So that's how Google now should work and that's how Google intend it to work. The problem we're going to come into now, which I'm going to show you, obviously with that kind of lovely, lovely Americanized kind of woman's voice. Why is that? Well, I hope you can see here, it's set to United States. Now I'm going to change it, put it back to United Kingdom. We're going to do some of the same tests. What's the weather like? It's 13 degrees and clear in Cayley, UK. Here's the forecast for the next few days. Now, hopefully you heard that. It's that crappy, awful robotic voice. It sounds very like Siri, you know, um, for a lot of it. Not as bad. I mean, it's actually better, a bit worse, sorry. Uh, the Americanized voices sounds pretty nice and clear. This is disgusting. You know, once again, you can do that. It's a call and implementation, but the, the voice they use for the United Kingdom, it is awful. Um, and I'm guessing it's that like for the rest of the world as well that speaks, you know, uses in English, uh, speaks English. So I'm just going to jump into another, another quick search. How big is Big Ben? Okay, I had to ask the wrong question there. How tall is Big Ben? 316 feet, 96 meters. So there we go. Again, it's got that disgusting voice. We'll do one more. How tall is the Empire State Building? 1,454 feet, 443 meters. And there we have it. So it works, it does as intended, but it just sounds crappy. So for all you people actually you know, want that kind of nice Americanized voice, that actually sounds more realistic, then make sure you've got your language set to the United States. Um, and hopefully it should still understand you. <laughs> it seems to understand me still. So I'm going to keep it on there for now. It is kind of annoying that, you know, I've obviously come across this. Most people doing these kind of videos, obviously, generally based in America, and they're probably not into it. I've not seen a video detailing this just yet. But anyway, it's a bit of an annoyance to myself, but it, it, it can live with it. Anyway, people, that's it for Google Now. If you've, got any more if you've got any questions at all about Google Now or anything else, you know what to do by now, hit me up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, because I tweet out a lot of, you know, a lot of this kind of stuff. And yeah, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit like button as well. You might as well. Nothing doesn't cost you anything. Anyway, people, thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.